New pictures of baby Jabari Gray show a four and a half month old who is steadily gaining weight, weaning off pain medications and may soon be breathing on his own. Every single doctor that's seen him like are like, wow, you know, he's improved from only being here for a month and a couple of days. I mean, he showed nothing but improvement, but he still has a very long way to go. His eyelids are fused shut and most of his body is still missing skin. That is about to change for the past week. Technicians in Boston have been using a biopsy from Jabari's skin to grow more of it. The cells are isolated in trays, fed nutrients and spread. And they grow and divide, making a very thin sheet, about four to eight cells thick across the bottom of the flasks that we grow them in. Vericell Corporation, a biopharmaceutical company, usually works with burn victims, but in this case, doctors have asked them to take on Jabari's skin. Rob is exactly the same. We're taking skin cells from a biopsy, growing them into sheets so that then the surgeons can then place them back on the patient. As for the little boy's condition, what was once thought to be a rare skin disease is now turning into a deeper mystery. He was the, technically the first baby to ever have whatever he does have. Doctors at Texas Children's Hospital say his original diagnosis in San Antonio, where he was born, was incorrect. They're still working on further testing and maybe naming it themselves. Next Friday will be his biggest surgery yet, skin grafts and opening his eyes. It's like a happy moment because like we never got to see his eyes you know from the day he was born.